Alright, welcome to the Titanfall beta. This is me trying to figure out what I'm doing. In a mech that's just uh, blowing up and I've got to evacuate. Um, first time I've played it and right now I'm overwhelmed by all the on-screen information. I have no idea what, what this crap means and it's just it's too much to take in right now so I'm just trying to bottle my way through until I can familiarize myself with it. On full with my anti-mech weapon right there. Trying to lock onto this dude. I toggle my invisibility so hopefully I can get a few shots off on this dude. Try to destroy his mech without being seen. But the invisibility doesn't last too long. Obviously I'm running him down and now I'm looking for where he ejected but I can't see him. But anyway, back to on foot. Takes like two minutes for your back to regenerate, and ooh, you should not have run in front of my gun sight, son. But uh, yeah, you're constantly getting updates about, well, you know, when your next back will be ready. Like I say, it's like two minute cycles or whatever. That's me chasing this a dude that popped invisibility. So I'm kind of running this way, but sort of lost track of it. Things happen so quickly, and, and like you know, like any multiplayer shooter, it's it's kind of a twitch thing where you just gotta have. We're in the lead. Keep up your, your, oh, Max saw me in the window. Didn't like him very much. This is a little replay of that, but uh, well, didn't didn't let it play out. But it, was, it shows you a little replay of your death whenever you get killed. You notice. This dude here, I'm trying to lock onto him, but these like this fence and this tree and everything keeps getting in the way. I guess, you know, for future reference, maybe I should double jump before firing the rocket to get some elevation so I can get over that fence, uh, which also would be good to, you know, as I pop back down, provide me cover from him. Okay, you live and you learn, right? It's not exactly going to be stellar gameplay the first time out. He didn't see me, so I'm um, trying to get a few more shots off on him, but he keeps running around the corner. That one hit. He is actively on fire. Can't tell if that one hit or hit the corner of the building. But he's not in good shape either way. And uh, here's a replay of me getting killed. Like, Backing up around that corner, focused on one mech when there's another mech behind me. You say it's super chaotic, but uh, so far it's a lot of fun. I'm really enjoying it, but it's going to take me a while to sort of learn the ins and outs, learn the map. I'm still not as mobile as I'd like to be on foot because I it's not the controls, it's not anything else. It's just my lack of familiarity with. The, Double jumping and getting up, you know, up on the buildings where I should be, rather than sitting like on the ground trying to engage these mechs. Should be on the rooftops a little bit more. But you know, could have, would have, should have, right? Interesting feature about these games is, you know, obviously we're way behind here. My team has got. 180 kills to their 241, so they're they're basically just destroying us. Um, as you lose the game, they send in a dropship, and if you could make it to the evacuation point and to the dropship in time, you could actually get out. And I've I've not ever done that. I it's too hard to resist continuing to stick around and everything. But once this epilogue pops up, there's no more respawns. Uh, there, but there's all these dudes in between me and the evacuation point anyway. Um, and here I get melee taken down from behind. But the uh, sad thing is, uh, I don't think I don't think anybody makes it out. I think of, of all of our team, because once the epilogue starts, you know, it ends the respawns. Everybody gets killed here. The, even the guys who made it to the rooftop uh, got killed, and there's nobody for the dropship to pick up. So. That story. There's me, there's my stats. Uh, three pilot kills, one Titan kill, 13 grunt kills, and seven deaths.